Okay, so Omar, this film, um, I love the film, first of all. I love Thank your you. acting in the film. Thank you. And you have a birthday coming up. Soon, soon, soon. Yeah, so, you know, and you have these two huge films being released. What a way to celebrate your birthday. How you about that? You had a phenomenal that? year, right? I had a blessed year. No other way to describe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so coming off of Miracle and now doing The Express, uh, was it deliberate that you chose such historically relevant movies back to back? You know, there's a certain degree in Hollywood as you have to take what comes in the sense of you read each script and if it's this or a silly comedy, then you make a decision. Or if it's this or nothing, you make a decision to either go on vacation or to do this movie. And in this situation, I just got to be blessed to be part of back-to-back -back films that have a serious historical relevance and a serious relevance now with the current political scope, you know, mm -hmm. to tell these great stories about American heroes who happen to be black. Right. And dealing with the political, you know, scope of what we have going on right now, this movie is dealing with a significant part of history, the first black Heisman Trophy winner. Right. And now we're dealing with the presidential elections where we, a historical moment either way, first black, um, first black president yeah. or first woman vice president. Right. Um, how do you feel that this movie correlates with what we have going on right now? Uh, well, I feel like The Express shows the country how far we've come from times when segregation was running rampant and Jim Crow was around and uh, whites and blacks can eat and drink at the same diners and you know, all sorts of foolishness, to how far we need to go. Whereas the fact that the, the, the Republican vice president nominee is a woman is a factor and could be used as a ploy to get votes, or the fact that uh, the Democratic nominee is Barack Obama is an African-American, which people see as a, a ploy to get votes, or is he black enough, or this, that, and the other. I think that there's a lot of correlation between the two. And I, I don't know, I just pray that one day, maybe it'll be after all of us pass away, that these silly classifications and labels are no longer a part of day-to-day -day American society. So we've come a far, a long way, but you think we still have a way to go? Without question, yeah. without question. I mean, the idea that we're still talking about race and gender being relevant as far as someone's job qualifications just shows that we have a long ways to go in the thinking and mindset that everyone has. Gloria and Sarah. Okay. I'm Jack Buckley, but you call me JB. 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 And this is my friend, Ernie. Uh, how do you do? Very well. So, what are you guys studying? Uh, well, a little bit of everything. Uh, math, basic literature. We're on the and, football team. And that. Oh. I don't really know too much about football. Neither does he. <laughs> I know you just directed, wrote, and starred in your first independent yeah. film. Yeah, 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 yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. How was that Thank experience? You. It was great. I mean, uh, you know, it's a lot more pressure because <laughs> it's on you. And right. I realize now how much the director does day to day, especially I see guys like Woody Allen who've directed themselves in countless films and the Ben Stillers and this, that, and the other guys who direct themselves. And it's no cakewalk, man. You have to have a really strong team around you. A newfound appreciation for what they do, right? Indeed. <laughs> indeed. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thanks again for sitting down. I love the film. And good Thank luck you. with um, all your future endeavors. Thank you. All right. Vice versa.